Remove the chat. And then remove the chat, yeah. Okay, so Dragonshire, you can watch it up there, Jabroners. On our monitor across the studio. Oh, you've got it there as well. We've got multiple monitors. This is just this is production value, guys. I love I love the finals day. How good's this? We've got monitor one, monitor two, we've got monitor three. Good times. Oh, and now we're getting tweeted at the same time. Hey, is that your brother swearing? What a guy. Uh, not a cool guy. Okay, so. Um, is the score updated? No tri Oh, the score needs updated. Uh, they're on the top right as well there, yeah. That's a different tag. You'll find it there. Okay, so No Trick Pony's got first ban, and what did they ban, Jabroni? They have obviously banned the Falstad, Global Mobility Hero. He has an amazing ult that can disengage or ruin team fights by pushing you in. Yeah. Um, in the Mighty Gust and other mobility heroes that are strong for this: Dehaka, Brightwing, uh -huh. Illidan. Uh, these heroes are good for these maps because you don't they're well, not global yeah. they don't move but yeah because there's, yeah. there's a lot of bushes there's a lot of bushes so it, it, it provides you opportunity there's I suppose, a lot of yeah. traveling between lanes and yeah there is a there's a, a chance for a gank if you will gank potential mm -hmm. so do you think the falstad still bugged in their name have falstad picked this map thinking we're going to pick Falstad and now Falstad's been banned. Falstad's been banned. Do you think that's why they're taking the entire time to you, to, to make this uh, to make this ban? Oh god. Call so GG. <laughs> that's it. Let's just give up. So they've banned Sonya. Um, now Yike was an incredible Sonya in the last game so he might have been thinking about taking that again. I don't yeah. know. But Yike uh, on the no trick pony is a very good, mm -hmm. very good tank so we're likely to see him take something. Well he could take Dahaka here. I, yeah. I think he would be a strong Dahaka. He could do. Hey! Oh my God! First pick Dahaka. What I tell you? I mean, the the value he gets top lane mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. is incredible. Are you are you suggesting like a solo laner in top lane? Obviously. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, and he just <laughs> obviously well, Boris in during the fight. Like you said, there's a lot of yeah. bushes or brushes or whatever. Brush it is. brush stalkers his ability, um, but bushes is where he goes. But like so he can just he can just walk later on in the game, he can just walk top or he can walk to any lane and and just keep on pushing that. I bet you that's what you'll see. He'll be pushing down top lane. That's your like bet. You heard it here first effort. folks. He's and gonna be pushing top lane by himself and it'll be Yike playing him. That's our prediction and be, there. It's gonna be tough. how do you counter it? That's the, that is the pick that if you've got a good well, player, that's the pick you well, want. Well they've banned Sanya. Sonia, that Sanya? would Sonia, Sonia. That's all right, Sonia. And that's a banter. No, I was They've banned that. lasagna. So, um, no, so it's not going to be Sonia. So, the Artanis is possible. Or Chen. Artanis or Chen. We're not getting a Chen. Standing on my mic. We're Sorry. not getting a Chen. We got Standing a Malf. On First pick. First Easy. pick, Malf. So, have we seen Malf in every game? Every game. Today. So every game today we've seen Malf. This is the first game when Tassadar hasn't seen an appearance ban or 100 percent tassadar participation are we going to see a tassadar participation man Indeed. i told you there you go so do you know what though vala getting tassadar that's great value unless that's, that's good value. Varian. well you, that's the thing this is are we going to see varian as well no, this is the time they pick it because they know the etc's there so now you can't go etc and tank varian can yeah, you and yeah i guess so not but the shattering throw would be like spooge value. That's kind of the stuff you want. And they're sitting there. They'll be spitting nails, as you'd say. Spitting nails. Like, or Grr! or she's getting away by the lick of her heels. Yeah, well, that, what is happening in... Fast Skin of her teeth, chat, I think, is the official metaphor, by the way. Uh, we somebody, always, somebody, was like, somebody was like, let's not choose ETC right now. Let's let's hold off. And, and, and they're like, no, no, we'll choose ETC. And then... And yeah. then that happened. Le Lexa boy on the chat there is commenting on the fact that Varian's been picked or banned every time. And that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true, you know, so we might still see him here again. So they're banning out, they want to ban out the Varian, which is, because uh, you get a lot of value. A lot of value. With that, especially, you know, if you can taunt somebody. By the way, the contest oh, is up. I forgot to mention this. Um, you've still got time to bet for either team. If you want to bet for... Um, There's a raffle going. I want uh, the raffle's still going as well. Um, how, do you, how do you do the raffle? Are you trying to enter the raffle? I want that wallet back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, the raffle is still available. I'm you in the can, raffle. Uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be in the raffle. I'm in the raffle. Why not? Um, okay. Yeah. You shouldn't be in the raffle. I'll right. donate it to charity because I'm actually a humanitarian if I win it. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not going to win it because the audience has to win it. So um, <laughs> I'm audience. I'm watching it. You are watching this game as a procaster. Here we go. So um, what was I saying? Right, Varian. Banned. Picked or banned. If you turn around there. If you turn your head <laughs> here. I tilt it this way a bit more though because there's light. Tackles. No. That's, be, that's better now. Okay, Tychus banned as well, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm not sure. You're not sure about what? <sighs> well, um, we need another front line for No Trick Ponies. Um, and I don't know what I want to pick because it's difficult to anticipate what the opponents. I know what I want from No Trick Pony. What do you, what you, what you want? I want a Morden. I want a Morden. Wow, that's a damage and a half. Okay, so Ragnaros, um, he is good on this map. Um, and oh. There we go, there's the front line for No Trick Ponies that I was looking for. And a new barack with spell resistance to Lei Ming. That is a very wise move. And Oriole is their second support. Good comp. I, I think you need to be a good team to be able to play that composition. But No Trick Ponies, uh, previous winners of Heroes Lounge from Season 1, uh, they are the champions, returning champions to defend their title. They are the team probably good enough to run that comp. And they're putting all their eggs in the Vala basket. You know, you stick your hope or your, <laughs> your crown on <laughs> Vala's head. Increase, from Oriel. increase our uh, attack speed, so it'll be Rancor build then. And then you, no, no, you, so Oriel gets good value yeah. with Vala. Mm hmm. Tazdar gets good value with Vala. Yeah. If Vala isn't able to do what a Vala should be able to do, then they they are going to struggle. They're yeah. going to struggle. But if she if she can Dahaka can come down and tongue somebody into oh. death, right? And when he he takes them out of position, that'll help. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, if Vala goes down, that's a very good point you raise that they maybe don't have enough damage. And now we got a Jimmy Rayner making an appearance. Jimmy, Jimmy Rayner. So, what do you think, Hyperion or the Banshees? Hyperion. Hyperion. We eh? got to zone everybody out. Zone everybody out so uh, Ragnaros can deal the damage. So who else? I can't yeah, do the dirt speak as good as you. That's picked. not very really good. Sorry, um, so everyone's picked. That's it. No, no. Sorry, who else could could they have picked for the assassin that wouldn't be spell damage? So it, they had to go Rayner. They had to go Jimmy. Well, um, yeah, that's right. So, you, do you think that uh, they didn't take? Um, you think that they didn't take damage? Uh, well, they couldn't go spell damage because, because of the Anubarak. Anubarak, yeah. So, and and Falstad's banned. Tachus is banned. So, just a reminder there: uh, your current casters here are Halloween. I'm Halloween, and on my left here we have Jabroni. That's right, and you can tweet us here at. Hot Lounge or, or DM, or you can message us on Twitter at um, Northern Wizard. Um, and obviously, we would recommend that you follow the channel to be kept up to date on the latest Heroes Lounge news. We have an update as well. What's the update? Um, Fictional Roma has joined the chat to tell everybody he just really hates Oriole in general. Well, that's very good of uh, him to so do so. Fictional Roma might be joining our team on Focus Halloween, so he'll be in Season 3 playing with us. Oh, jeez. Spinning to win in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, I'm back. Sorry. He's just getting lax. He's getting <laughs> lax. I was just enjoying myself too much. Hours. Okay. So... On the right here, we have No Trick Ponies giving us an excellent dance there, and we have um, Millie uh, on Tassadar, uh, Silver Fox on Vala, Patsku on Oriole, Dehak has been played by Yik, and Senric is on Anubarak. You want to give us uh, the other team, Jibroners? What the Fast Hustle Book Boys is Rainer ha in on the. No, Popcorn on the Rainer, uh, Faltarion on the ECT. Slays on the Ragnaros, Snow Kid on Laming, and the Silenced Camp Master on the Malfiorian. There we go. Okay, so both teams going for the scuffle in the mid. It is 5v5. They are not doing any advanced soaking at this stage, so that's fine. Going for our starting talents. Nothing too alien to me there, it looks like. Auto okay. attack build. So we're already splitting off for the, ta uh, for the soak. We've got Ragnaros in top lane. Uh, in fact, right, so they're not doing what I thought they would do. What were you thinking they'd do? 
two one two two one. No, no, they are. They're doing what I thought they would do, which is fine. Okay, so Senric's trying to stop them rotating, but it's it's going to lead to his death if he if he keeps up with that at this point. And he has shields for days though, especially with the Tass. Millie taking a big chunk from a laming orb, um, but will be able to shield herself until the heals come out, or just sippy. Okay, so just a reminder, um, I've been advised that the raffle will end after this game, the second game in the series between No Trick Ponies here and Falstad still bugged. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning our Heroes of the Storm loot, you need to put exclamation raffle into the Twitch chat. And best of luck to everyone for entering that. Okay, so it looks like Falstad still bugged now have both shrines and are able to capture the Dragon Knight if they want to. No, no trick ponies are staying mid, uh, maintaining a presence to deny anyone getting that. Um, there we go. Okay, so Dahaka in top lane was able to recapture the shrine. Good job, Dahaks. Good job, Dahaks. So um, that is yike on Vala Dahaka. sneaking down bottom to to capture a shrine because that's going to relieve the pressure mid from. Uh, yeah, in fact, it's going to it's going to turn it around. It's what it's going to do. It's, it's going to yeah, it's going to force a, a dodgy play from the Ragnos, or it will force a rotation down. So are they going to go for the fight here? Are they going to go oh, for the fight? Oh, mouth mouth path, un unsafely. Like unsafely. Maybe they gave him a, a pass because of the Varian play last game where. <laughs> Varian did exactly <laughs> that. Yeah, but of Falterian course he did. Has, has uh, power slid in. He has been stunned. He has been Silver stunned again. value. Oh, is he going to? Is he going to go down? Falterian. Oh, oh and no. he gets away by the lick of his heels. The lick of his heels. There we go. Okay, so Silver Fox has captured this, uh, and someone is running mid, and Senric is going mid to try and, and cap the going. DK. Is he going to get enough time? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. <gasps> the he's going to be spitting nails okay <laughs> so there we go um, they're unable to complete their rotation because um, no, no trick ponies are cut off from going through the bushes there Ooh. and Pat's Q's now he's out oh, he's zoned is, is he is he going to get the through oh the stop roots are stopping through. him oh but no Millie's taking alive. damage Millie's taking damage too Millie you've not noticed and they what? get the counter kill on what? how did that happen I didn't see that coming did you see that coming uh, I didn't see that coming my gosh, that is outrageous. So, okay, so they're going back and taking the uh, shrine. They've got it again. Senric, he's peeling off to try and capture it in mid. Is he going to get it? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, yep. and first he's Dragon Knight of the game goes to No Trick Ponies. Bonk! At this moment, look how much damage has been done. Uh, sorry, look how much ammo uh, ammo has, <laughs> has gone out of those turrets mid. There's not even shooting him. Yeah. So that's making it way easier. He's going to have a lot more health. Yeah. Because he'll probably move, what, top? Well, bottom? they're just going to change lanes, it looks like. Get the wall, move, change lanes. And um, I think at this stage, the first Dragon Knight, what they're trying to do is just get experience. Get a lead in experience so that they can hit level 10s first. If they hit level 10s first, of course they're going to take the fight to the enemy, so we'll, we'll just see how that goes. Um, oh, Senric, you're up a bit front there. You maybe want to back off now? But he don't care. They've got it. They've He's got, got the burrow, I guess. That's, yeah, that's quite a... Quite, oh. quite a lot of value from, from yeah. the first thing. Oh, Senric's in trouble. He's going to need to burrow now, and he gets out of there. Good move. Wow, Falstad's still bugged. They're hanging in there. They're doing well. They're doing well. It is a full level ahead yeah. through those turrets. That last team fight in bottom lane, though, I really expected Falstad still bugged to get the get the kill on uh, Millie, and uh, it didn't. And then they get, no trick ponies managed to actually kill Rainer. Mm -hmm. Counter kill just came out of nowhere, which was very unexpected. Um, very unexpected indeed. Silver Fox with the shield and that crown as well, just running wild. Yeah, yeah. Both camps have been picked up and but will be cleared quicker on this side of No Trick Ponies. Oof! See so that? Look, an orb off. straight in the back of Senric, but Anubarak's able to take that because of his spell resistance. So really, you know, you get great value out of that. Okay, four v three, four v four. They're just posturing at this point here. Slipped off top uh, to mid to help get his team closer to that elusive level ten, where it's very if elusive. they get it, they can just turn and fight for days. 
but Rayner has. I mean, Senric's going to need to get out of there. There he goes. He just he knows when to escape. And, and the, a, yeah, the Beatles, you know, the Beatles were a great band in the sixties. Um, right, moving down to bottom lane, um, getting ready to cap the shrine, and you know, th a lot of loneliness happening in top lane, but. Uh, their objective is just to get the experience, and you can see clearly from here that Ragnaros and Dahaka have been doing that. Okay, we've got a scuffle coming in bottom lane here. Silver Fox is just throwing out the damage, knowing that he's got the shields to do what he wants. He's got the shields. He's or got the she. Secret. Player, the player Silver Fox will go with. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the camp is being pulled. Dahaka's moving top to. Steal the shrine. I mean, I think Rag's just struggling. You can see that the, the yeah. ammo is, is actually... Well, you've got to remember, Ragnaros does an incredible amount of damage in team fights, and his Molten Core gives him great value as well. But I get, when he has to solo lane the entire game against a hero that can regenerate his health, of course he's going to lose. You can't keep that lane. I mean, and I like this, that they're, they're not moved up to get the shrine because they know we can get a lot of value bottom mm -hmm. just pushing with this camp. And there's always that issue that somebody's going to... Peel off and get the... I mean, the hack has borrowed mid uh, to get it. It's oh! Right, okay, we've got the Hyperion deployed. Anubarak is... Oh, healed and he's he doesn't even need to leave. The second Dragonite is captured by Yike. And he's now free to roam down mid lane because there's not even a wall there to stop him. Um, whilst that happens, uh, the rest of his team are going to peel off and try and join him. Um, here we go. They're going to scuffle up. Anubarak gets a stun out on Slays and Popcorn. If, if this goes down... Core? I was just about to say that. Is the Molten Core coming just in? Just too late. There we go. There we go. He gets a stun on the dragon. The dragon responds by kicking the stage-dived ETC out of the <laughs> arena. And they just retreat. That Molten Core could have come earlier. Yes, I agree. It could have been earlier. So, in top Dragon lane... Knight's still 50% health. It's only got 10 seconds left, but he's just going to go help himself to... Because that's going to help his uh, his battle, one-on-one -on -one battle with Ragnaros, if there's uh, no, fort, uh, no towers to, to contend with. It's going to give them good value, yeah. So, we can see Senric having a one-on-one -on -one against Faltarian down there, but... Uh, I I think he's. I think he's getting zoned here. Uh, I think they're getting a bit greedy. Senric needs to be careful, unless this is very deliberate, and I wouldn't know because I'm not quite at the level of these guys. But oh, we've got some good spins. I like a good spin. Okay, and he's off. So, are they going to counter attack? Are they going to push, or are they just going to play yeah, safe? Really level thirteen, thanks to that flaming thirteen. Both camps going the for their bruisers. Yeah, looks like it. Both camps. The hacker is just bruisers. pushing these lanes out. Bottom lane. He's just being a, a nuisance. Well, he's, he's getting excellent value with experience. Look at this. He's now at 9,100 versus Ragnaros' 7.6. So, um, statistically, good value. And that and that shows. That's why they're almost two levels ahead here. No mm -hmm. trick ponies. But we might see a resurgence yet. Let's see how it goes. So, the hacker is just going to pull that camp and then, I assume, walk top, clear, clear the blue camp, and then it's just... It's going to force a... Force a movement, force a rotation. Takaloi is saying, good job, Jabroni, you finally did it. I can only assume he's referring to your ability to say ETC. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which is brilliant. <laughs> okay, so um, they've got a siege camp um, and they are pushing bottom with it. So let's see if Falstad's still barked. It's a strange swap they've done. You've got you've got a Nubarak top lane instead of the, the Hacker top lane. Um, I, I don't. You don't I, follow that, yet. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. So, well, basically, they've swapped Senric for Yike in the four-man rotation, and I think that must have been a tactical decision on comms by their team captain. And uh, I think possibly that's to get the team oh, fight value. This is going <gasps> ambush! Juicy. Ambush set up here. Do you think you're saying juicy? You're not saying... Oh, no, they're just going in now because they know they're not going to come down for the this. The issue is now it's an equal talent here fight. They must be confident that they are going to win a fight because the silence comes out of mouth and immediately... Oh, good value! He dies. He's dead. Mal dead. Uh, Ragnaros is dead. And Raynor is start stepping his way to death as well. Falterion has just been like, I'm bailing. Lick of his Seriously. heels gets away with it by the lick that of his heels. That mouth. Did you see that? Straight yeah. away, he deploys his uh, Twilight Dream. Snow Kid just decides to um, die 
Yeah, he, that was a f- straight up feed. Should have um, ran a long time ago. And um, so a four down Dragon Knight available. Etc. What's he going to do? Is he going to try and stop this or just give them it? He just I needs to he, give them Yeah, it. you've got a bail. You don't want to. You don't want to die for something that's inevitable because he will lose it anyway. Um, but y- yikes! Looking for him. Look at this. I mean, there's a Look at the aggressiveness here. These okay. these minions are they sh- were they shooting him still? It took yeah. ages to capture that Dragonite. Um, so there we go. So uh, no, no, they weren't shooting him. I think that was his one. So um, third Dragonite in the game now goes to no trick ponies. That was tasty, but yeah, mouth. I've not seen that before. That was sweet. Twilight Dream straight into Ice Block. Mm-hmm. So like, but he I ended up dying. It, but it was a cool idea. I like that. Yeah, tried to ignore the burst. So, uh, Mike check and a wave of force used to push away the no trick ponies, but it's almost futile because Senric is able to just hammer down those walls with his and his trick. team are able to hammer down the other side. I mean, so now this thirty-three uh, percent Dragonite is able to start whaling the whale in the core. It won't get here. Comes the molten Thankfully, core. Thankfully, the molten core comes out a little earlier. The he was too slow with the smash. Nobody you need to go for the Q first when you're when you're molten core and do the Q first to stun all the enemies. And then and then throw the sulfurous smash. Senric, he's out. Let's see what we get here. We're and are you, I think because it's level seventeen to level fourteen, a talent head, talent advantage ahead. They are going to fight for this keep. They've got. They're going to go for it. They've got these little uh, beetles soaking oh. up the shots from the keep. Shake was low. Here but comes the, the, and the Archon. Hyperion. The Archon is deployed, so it is going to run out of uh, of juice because they don't have the perpetual Archon ability yet at level 20. But it's just around the corner with the way this fight's looking. They're just going to push for keep. Senric is sending his little back beams. down. No, they're not giving them a chance to breathe, let alone r- prepare for the d- this defence. So Ming, who does not get very much value against the, the Anub, has run top lane and to soak some XP, but... Oh, the Twilight Dream Twilight has been deployed, silences people. the entire enemy. Oh, oh what? Burrow. The, the best burrow EU. What? Safe dive into it, but he is so low oh. that he just gets... Senric ruined. is in danger of death here, and he burrows out. He, he manages a shield to survive. And a burrow. That was a tasty shield. I, I don't know if Millie missed how good they the are. shield, but we now have a, a giant with <laughs> a shield. Oh, yes, I see what you're talking but maybe, about. Maybe that was the plan all along. Like, I'll give this guy a shield, he's going to take the, f- the keep while we... Well, we do our uh, wow. damage elsewhere. But so the bottom <laughs> keep goes down, and Falstad, still bugged, are now at a disadvantage. Oh! And Snow Kids revealing Yike, Yike with an orb. with the jukes into the, <laughs> into the spell. Uh, Excellent into the stuff orb, there. Excellent said. stuff. They need to hearth. They need to get their health back up. It's level 18. Level 18. To 53 and so it's, levels Yeah, it's not, even, it's not even that close to a level 16 uh, talent. So... I mean, you could send to hack a bottom to capture the bottom shrine and then join as a team. Uh, there's, um, there's, uh, I don't know. There's just not much to do here. <laughs> well, as, the, as the objective uh, is now up. So, um, regardless, they're going to be in a position to at least cap one of them, um, and then they're going to need to apply pressure down the lane. Thankfully, thankfully, 16's getting it. They're going to get 16. And then they can do something. They can at least defend um, this bottom shrine because now no trick ponies could just make a move. In and and they are. They're doing that now. So they are going to take they pull the top camp. So that's an uh, applied pressure. It means it means that Falstad still bugged is going to have to try and get top. But they're oh, they're sneaking around. Yeah, this is. And, but I think it's this weird little standoff that they don't know who's at the top shrine. A noob doesn't know who's at the bottom shrine, so they don't want to go in and get so, absolutely wrecked. Yeah, Senric's not going in because he doesn't know if they're in there. But um, seen, as soon as he sees this, there you go. They're going to take it. So it's a direct swap for our shrines there. And one what's Math meant to do? He, he can't go cap it. But I mean, it was a good, it was a good rotation because now they're they're not a, they're not going to lose to Dragonite, and they can clear the top uh, camp. But fast, um, no trick ponies are going to react by taking the bottom camp. So they have to do the yeah. exact same thing again. And no trick ponies are getting closer and closer. With this Tahaka soaking, they're getting closer and closer to level 20. As soon as it hits level 20, what are you going to do? Snow Kid's sitting in the bush, but throw an orb out, you're going to die. This is a standoff. We ha- That's what we have here, folks. We've got a very late game standoff. The next team to win a team fight is going to win the game. It's as simple as that, I think. And Snow Kid's cut off from her team. She doesn't know if Senric's there. Silver Fox is jumping in. 
this um, they, they've, they've forced so oh Cenric's going in he's, he's uh, burrowing hand. straight in uh, the Hyperion's deployed in answer so is the Sulfurous Smash is thrown out but it doesn't get enough value here comes the stage dive there we go there's the cue from Slays uh, during Molten Core off, but he can get away the Molten Core is just chunking oh, people down Vala's taking good damage here Silver Fox might have to retreat the shields, though, the shields are just keeping her alive, but Oriel is out of I energy. And Sorry? Yeah. So they are now approaching Storm Talents here, so we'll have to wait and see uh, um, what happens here at level 20. But, I mean, the thing is... Uh, oh, oh, Senric's going to get it! He gets the fourth Dragon Knight in the game. And level 20 is so We're close just to waiting. Up, We're just so waiting for the Storm Talents is he up gonna here. Go, is he going to go for a keep? Or is it, are they just going to walk bottom and take the game? So Perpetual Archon is now available. And we've got the uh, additional shield from Oriel, which is going to give them sustainability in the team fight. So with this Dragon Knight... Oh, so see it! Gives Rainer a nice big boot. So we're, we're now in position here for... And with uh, Molten Core down, there's just not much they can do to stop this Dragon Knight. He's wailing on the keep. He's trying to get that extra damage in. And as soon as oh, ATC has been. Oh, Faltarian's getting away. With 300. Oh, Val doesn't want to let that happen. Silver but now Fox he's, strafing. he's completely cut off from his team. The ice block comes out from Mal to save him from it's dying for enough. a little bit. Um, they're stunning the Ragnaros to kill him. ECT is going to stage dive in. There goes Rainer. There goes. Popcorn! Oh, no, Popcorn! What's he doing? Is he going to survive? Oh my god, how is Popcorn health, alive? Go on. Come on, 90 health Popcorn. Let's see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> how is he still alive? Oh, there we go. And he goes a flying. Oh, he obviously didn't have sipping cup. ECC has up. gone G G. There we go. The second game in the series handed to No um, Trick Ponies. No Trick Ponies. So that means they oh, GG.